Today is September 12th and it's about, let's see, 1045. And I wanted to do a quick video about the importance of the image. Yesterday, uh, being 9-11, uh, it was a tough day for me. I didn't really post much. Uh, it was, you know, trying to post something on social media regarding 9-11 has always been difficult for me. I never know what to say or how to say it, how to express that emotion. Uh, the things that I dealt with on that day. I was in my mid-30s when it happened. Uh, but one thing that's carried on from those, uh, from that day through the years are the images of that day. And I wanted to talk about uh, a blog post I did about a year ago after my father passed and the importance of the image. And just wanted to express how I feel about what I do uh, in picking up my camera and you never know when an image that you take is going to become significant. You never know when it's going to be important. Uh, just because it's something mundane doesn't mean that 15, 20, 30, 50 years from now that it won't be incredibly significant to the people that are looking at it. I received a pretty neat uh, letter from my aunt where she sent me uh, a couple of images of myself. I know they're not the best pictures and it's from uh, you know the early 70s, I believe. It's like probably 1971, 72. Uh, and then there's you know this one. Uh, once again, not the best images. But for me, looking back and seeing the younger me uh, after all those years was, was pretty incredible and brought back a lot of memories uh, from those years, um, look, just looking at those images. And then she also sent me this really cool receipt. And it is a receipt for a camera that was actually left uh, to me by my grandmother. Uh, this amazing Leica uh, was purchased in 1940 from a camera company uh, in Chicago by my grandfather, father for my grandmother. And the fact that my aunt took the time to put that in an envelope and send it to me and the note that she sent me as well it let me know the importance of the images that I had sent to my grandmother when she ended up in a care facility and I had been to Greece and I had made some images uh, that I was pretty proud of and I printed them and mailed them out to her uh, in Chicago and it turns out that she had those up in her room for several years and um, it, it turns out they were they were cherished by her she, she never really said much about it but talking to my aunt it seemed like they were actually really important to her and the fact that you know I ended up with this as kind of a you know a memory of her uh, is phenomenal uh, I, I cherish this camera I hope to get it back into a shape where I can actually make some images with it uh, and uh, and do it justice uh, but I feel pretty lucky uh, to have it and to have the memories of my grandmother uh, and and also uh, that I can create memories for my kids and my grandkids uh, that who knows if I'll even ever meet. Uh, I hope I do. I hope I'm lucky enough to have that experience. But if not, uh, they're going to be able to look at this video and other images of me and get a real picture for who I was and what was important to me and what really mattered to me. Uh, which you know I think is all that any of us can leave for uh, the generations to come. So my images are also what uh, are going to be left behind as a memory of me. Uh, the images that I take, you know, are going to be around for for years to come. And you know maybe my kids will carry on the ones that they love and show them to you know the generations after after that. So never know what's going to become significant you never know what image is going to be an important image i was working at a, uh, a company up in lake tahoe where i would take you know the cheesy tourist photo of people getting on boats but every once in a while you get a telephone call from a loved one of somebody that had passed and they really wanted to get a hold of that image from that day because it was probably the last day that they were together with family and had a photo taken of them I received many of those calls and provided those photos for those families. And you know, while you're taking it, you don't think much of it. You're taking a picture of two, three hundred people getting on a boat behind a buoy, and you don't think much of it that it's you know a big deal. But to those people, that photo mattered more than anything. 
So remember your images mean something, even the mundane, the, the ones that you don't think much of, the ones that you probably might even end up uh, deleting from that hard drive. You know, think twice, take a look at it, see what possible signific significance it could have. Uh, we had a big fire here in Sonoma County and a lot of the places that were photographed over the years don't exist anymore. And the only way that those are remembered is through those images. So that's my two cents uh, for today. Uh, take it for what you will. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have images that you've carried on from generations before you. Uh, share them uh, with me in the comments. I'd love to hear about it or see them. Uh, my name is John Weinberg with Photo4A.com. You're never too old to start something new. Till next time, take care.